Spruce Creek after their victory over Sandalwood. Tyler Barong, you had a great game, man. Uh, led your team in tackles. Just uh, talk about the victory. It was, wasn't surprising. We was to come here and shut them out. We didn't get to shut them out. They put, what, 13? 13 on us? That was off of mistakes. They didn't really do anything that surprised us. We knew everything they were going to do to, down and distance wise and all that. Now, you're a University of Florida a offer. Uh, you're only a sophomore. Uh, but you showed tonight why uh, by making lots of plays. Just talk about your game. What makes it so special? Uh, I was gifted with my size and my ability to move. Um, I was coached well by Mayo and my previous coaches and Pop Warner. All right, Tyler, you, get, you uh, have your teammates here. You have uh, Jacquez Lord. You had over 100 yards rushing. Uh, talk about your feelings on uh, rushing the ball so well tonight. My feelings were like when you do more talking than you do playing, you get a little messed up. So it was talking a lot. So I was just doing my thing, running the ball. We have my cousin Vinny <laughs> right here. <laughs> Vinny Sneed. Wow, you made so many plays tonight. You had an interception. You had uh, one of the game saving sacks. Uh, just talk about the effort uh, tonight to lead your team on defense. Um, Pretty much it's just practice, practice, practice makes perfect and preparation and watching film and studying the other team's offense, just all kind of together. We have the leader of the team, Kyle Minkler. Kyle, man, you, you showed us you could throw the ball, you showed us that uh, you could run. Um, what did you uh, think about the uh, team's effort in defeating Sandwood tonight? Oh, practice all week. We wanted this game. I wanted this game the most, and practice, 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 like Vinny said, and we came out here and got it. I heard you on the sideline uh, after you went up. Uh, you said this game is not over. Uh, talk about your mindset of playing to the, to the uh, last second. Well, um, first half was real shaky for the offense, especially me. You know, we were a couple picked. That was my fault. And uh, halftime, I was just thinking, like, I need to step up. We need to get this. So when I started that. That's when we started winning. All right. And Mia Van Winter, Mia, uh, you were uh, almost perfect on your PATs, but it was a penalty that, that backed you up. But uh, just, just talk about um, what do you enjoy about playing football? I enjoy the fact that it's like a family. Everybody's always, like, always together. They love each other. They're just so like a family. I just. When did you start uh, playing, playing football? Um, I actually played my freshman year on JV about halfway through the season, and then I couldn't play my sophomore year because I also play soccer, and my travel soccer team actually went up in a division, and my coach said that I wasn't allowed to play outside sports, and then I came back to this. What gave you the um, idea and the desire to want to be a kicker on a football team? Um, my brother was actually the varsity kicker when I was a freshman. He was a senior, and the JV coaches asked if he knew anybody that could kick, and he said, my sister is probably the farthest person that I know. Mia, thank you so much. Hey, and congratulations on the big district win. Thank you.